people and welcome back to Hoffern Paranormal. Today we're back at a place I've done before. It's an old nun's convent outside of Preston. Uh, we did it before and I heard it as well. You heard that, yeah. Uh, I've came back because there's a few places. I'm not going to bore everybody with going back to every location three, four and five times. I'm just at the minute because we're still kind of in lockdown I'm trying to do a few places that are quite close that I have been to before but I think there's activity in that we could get more so that's what I'm trying to do at the minute. <coughs> uh, came back here and we're going to do a bit more paranormal here. Now there's myself, there's Kyle on the camera and there's Explorer Modelli who has found a little crawl space so to start the video we're going to pass the camera to her and she's going to go and record in the crawl space to see what there is and then we're going to do a bit more up here to see what we can get. There is noises being heard. Uh, there was one over there a minute ago. There also was, when we first came in, a noise through there. We'll check them out. We'll do an experiment or two as well. But let's see what we can get in here. Alright guys, so we are now in the crawl space of the uh, convent. Are you scared down there? I'm not scared. As you can see, there is a hole in the f in the in the wall sort of thing. I'm gonna go through because I saw another one over there. Oh. Now I am a small person, but this is unreal how small it is. Uh, I've already cut myself open, okay? Like, literally cut myself open. I'm not sure if I'll quite get through that hole. But I'll try and show you what's in there. Well, I'll try. It's not much, but that's really the crawl space. Oh, it is absolutely tiny down here. Let's try and get back through this hole without gashing my leg open again. Oh, I'm actually stuck now. Alright guys, so that was really all that was in the crawl space. Done? Yes. Take that. Right, right, so you've been in the crawl space with Explorer Modelli. Did you get much down there? Mm. Oh, you live. Right, Kyle's gone upstairs to see what's what happening up there. So, let's go. One of the experiments that I'm going to use, people, let me just straighten this camera up a little bit. One of the experiments that I'm going to do is, I'm going to, at one point, I'm going to get Kyle over in that corner over there. Over there. I'm going to have Explorer Modelli down here in this corner over in there. Over there, and I'm gonna go upstairs when when Kyle comes down. So we'll go do that to start with. Well, not to say start with, but we'll go do that. I'm gonna ask for some stuff to happen. Do a spirit box upstairs while they're down here. They're gonna listen and shout to me if anything happens at all. So that's the plan of action. 
but I've also got to get up there. So, anything much up there? Are you getting anything? Right, well, if you stay, what we'll do is, what? That was the way we were. Right, stay there. Are you coming up as well? Right. I'm not going to embarrass everybody by, or I'm saying, but I'm not going to embarrass us to everybody. So I'm going to pause until we're up there. Hi, right, people, we're back on. So, you probably remember from last time. It's all quite open here, and you've got a motor wagon pass, so don't want to go too near the windows. All this area has been getting built up, or getting some work done to it anyway. So, let me squeeze past you. There's a couple of things I want to try up here. Uh, let me just go in there a minute. I think a lot of this as well, there's kids come in here to fool around and stuff, so Which room are you talking about, this dark one? That stupid graffiti on the wall. How people think they have to do that is beyond me. Little oh, fireplace. If you do see or hear anything, people, as I say in the uh, in the other ones. If you do see or hear anything, please do let me know. This is... I wasn't hanging off the last time, I wasn't. And that roof wasn't off like that. So... A lot more damage to the school over there. I'm not going into that back room. You can probably see through the... Right. So... Don't be going through there. There's a school at the back room. I might see it. Well, you can go through to this bit, but don't go through in that other room. So... Pretty much, that's where we've just come up. That big massive hole in the floor. So... Oh, someone's put Ellie's name on the wall. <laughs> I mean, I like that. You can probably see it, because just show you from here, people, if you go up, the way the roof goes there, and then it goes up into like a, like a kind of a loft space up there. But you can see how it's been like a skylight. And the design around the top as well. Really, really nice. Right. Are we gonna get this investigation, st well, we're, we'll start it, but are we gonna, get the experiment started yeah so let me just pause for a minute folks while we'll get sorted out where people are going and then I'll let you know hi people so what I am going to do here is I'm going to do an SP7 spare box session I've got a REM pod set up here at the door so that if anything comes in that will go off I'm going to see if we can get anything through this. I've got Kyle down in the front room over in the corner in the dark. I've got Ellie in the other dark room over at the far corner that way. So they're both downstairs and at far end, each opposite ends of the building basically. So we're going to put this on and see what we can get.
Is there anybody here with us now? Say something to me. I sound like to get out. Did you just tell me to get out? Tell me to get out. Speak to us.
this between here. So, definitely more of movement in this area, and I feel that there's three people in this building at the minute. Explorers, anyway, I can see them either. They're not far off them, so they must be explored. About five, ten minutes. So, there's definitely movement up here, though. There's, there's definitely movement up here. Pod here, right? And then obviously there's another camera sat there and knelt over here in front of it here and did a and did a spirit box. There, there was very little or nothing coming through on it and that, that didn't go off. Now I don't know if it's just one of these locations that we're at where it's just certain times and you catch it at the right or the wrong time. There, there is definitely movement. Right? Just come here a minute. 
They're definitely, definitely moving here. I can make, I, I picked up that it was, it was three, I'm going to say three nuns, because it's a nunnery, it's a convent, right? I picked up on three entities that are coming through, not all of them in the same way. One of them is definitely walking. It's obviously, I'm getting the feeling that maybe there was a communal room over there, or a bedroom over there, whatever it was. And this is a, so it wasn't on patrol, you know what I mean? But it was a route that was made quite often for whatever reason. And obviously, this would have been a communal area, because the stairs would have been here, it would have been landing, because obviously it's skyline and stuff like that. So it may have been like maybe a bench here or something like that for the, you know what I mean? There might have been some kind of seat over there with the window and stuff like that. These, I don't know what these are. I'm trying to figure this one out. But I don't know whether these are bedrooms. Well, I'd like to one. sorted out. So I've got the camera now so I'm just going to carry on saying what I was saying to Kai. This, this is a, this is what I'm going to say I'm going to say kind of being shown right it does sound a bit a bit vague yeah but this is what my take on it right is this was like a communal gathering room. I think maybe most of these were. You'd probably find I would say one of them would have been maybe a prayer room. Right? Now this would have been all one room. This is being divided off for a reason. I don't know why. But this wouldn't have been divided off. This would have been all one room. Obviously as well you've got a fireplace here. So this would have been, even even this wouldn't have been divided off. I think what you'll find is this this was a this here. If you show you up here, along this beam, this was a double door. I think, right? This would have been one room. You have a doorway over there. I'll just show you over here, under the veranda area or whatever the whatever they would have used that for. This would have been all one room, right? Now, if you come through here, this, I think, would have been some other kind of... This might have been like a prayer room. It makes me wonder, when the, because the window's like that, if I just show you people, the way, the way this goes around the top, and the way the window is like a... Like a jut out, I'm wondering, was there maybe some kind of a... Look, this could have been a prayer room. There could have been like an altar or something there. Right? So, and there was obviously, you can see up there, there was curtains all around the top. You can see the curtain rails up there. So there was curtains to block the windows off. So I'm thinking this was some kind of a prayer room. Right? Now, I don't know where it all went, but the last time there was a bigger table than that in here. That was part of it. Have you been on that? Yeah, it just goes through to the other side. This is like a veranda area. You just can see into the other room. Do you know what I mean? He has to come through into here. Right. Two seconds there. This. I'm really not sure. 
This room's an enigma to me. Do you know what I mean? Carry that box for me. It's... Hello? Yeah, I know, I'll see you. This is... I'll be out in five minutes anyway. Oh. Okay. This, this, is, this room is a bit of an enigma to me because I can't figure out for the life of me what this room would have been. Was it a bedroom with a fireplace in it? Was it another kind of living room? Why would there be that many living rooms up here? Was it another, some kind of prayer room as well, a quiet room, maybe a reading library room? You wouldn't know. Then you come to here, would have been the toilets and showers and stuff. This would have been a bedroom, definitely. Definitely would have been a bedroom. Obviously there was toilets and showers in here because the shower thing's still there. The soil pipes are still on the wall. All the pipework for the sinks are still. So that's... Did, you, did you hear something? Yes. Again, this room, I don't know what this room was. was. I'm just trying to figure out what that noise was. There was a couple of people on their way in here, so I'm not sure whether they've come in or not. Are they in? There might have been someone coming in. So we're coming to the end of the video anyway, people, but it's just to basically show nothing's really happened again. Oh. That, do you know what that, what that put me in mind of, that noise? Do you want to say that went that thoughts? It, it was something. <laughs> yeah? It was, it was more of a glassy sign, wasn't it? I was going to say, like, as if it dropped. Well, there was definitely a, some kind of a noise. Definitely. Don't know why I picked it up on camera or not, people, but there was definitely some kind of noise. Maybe we'll go back through here and see what happens again. What? It's all right, don't worry about it. We were through here when it happened. We were literally here when the noise happened. Is that smell? Do you smell the perfume again? Yeah. You can't smell a perfume smell. No, bear in mind I've got hay fever, but what noise? This happened the last time I was here in, in this area. It's a perfume smell again. Right, I'll just pause the video while we get downstairs again, people, and then we'll finish up the uh, video. Hi, people, so we've come to the end of that investigation. There wasn't really much happening. Uh, hopefully we've caught something. Keep an eye out on the video. Leave any likes if you can. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Also check out Half Burn Paranormal on Instagram. And, as well, timestamp any you can if you've seen or heard anything. Uh, to me, it hasn't been an overly great one, but I had to come back and try I had to come back. I kept getting the feeling for this place. I pass it quite often, going other places as well on the motorway, so I had to come in one more time. But hopefully I might have caught something. There's a few noises and stuff that I got there, but basically, well, I'll have to have a look back at it. But if you see or hear anything, please, please do let me know. But for now, from Half Room Paranormal, it's goodbye.